Happy Valentine's Day. You know, and we want to keep uh, the love and the heart all healthy. So we have our good friends here at Intermountain Healthcare. They're taking your phone calls, everything about heart health. And uh, yeah, we want to stay healthy. We have Viet Le here, uh, cardiac physician assistant, Intermountain Medical Heart Institute in Murray. Thanks for coming down here today. Well, no, thank and, you. And uh, we're finding that maybe taking that kind of traditional stress test isn't the necessarily the best way to uh, find blockages, right? Well, I think uh, one will never get away from doing stress testing. Sure. It's, a, it's a functional test. Uh, the problem is, is that there is residual risk still. All it tells us is on that day that we test whether or not we think we see blockage. Uh, that's significant enough to decrease blood flow. And some people pass that portion of the test, but we haven't answered whether they have coronary disease. Okay, and so yeah. what do you need to do then? Well, so, so at Intermountain Medical Center, we, we use a PET CT, and on that CT scanner, uh, we're able to obtain coronary calcium scores. And so what that does is actually, rather than just uh, assessing whether blood flow is, is going through and being blocked, we see if someone does have a risk of it by looking at disease, so mm -hmm. the actual burden of plaque in the heart. Right. Uh, have you guys done some studies, too? Yeah. yeah. So recently we published, uh, well, actually, we, we presented at the American Heart Association back in November on one of those studies. So we took a lot of individuals who had a normal stress test, so to speak, but they still had some coronary calcium, uh, which we identified with the CT scanner, and that's where events still occurred, heart events, heart attacks, and, and even some deaths. Um, so uh, the lesson there is, if you get a stress test, it doesn't say that you're Superman for the rest of your life. Right. Uh, it just means that on that day, we didn't see any obstruction in the Yeah, we just uh, need to add a little science to that and, yeah. and what you guys have found through your, your testing. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Great information, and uh, there's tons of information you can get here today just by asking the expert. Again, they're taking your calls, and the uh, telephone number is 877-908-0680, and on social media, just use the hashtag KUTVAskTheExpert. Back to you.